Hey, my friends, welcome to our uh, first live uh, session for today. And uh, we're going to be mixing these live webinars with um, some Facebook live trainings. And I want to invite all of you. I'm doing a special training today at four o'clock on Facebook Live, and uh, you can certainly catch me over there. I like the webinar format because I can talk to you, and uh, there are some things that we're going to be able to do with uh, Facebook Live in the future. We're going to be showing you things that, frankly, have never been shown before. And the bottom line for all of you, no matter how you use social media. It's all about talking to people. So today, we're going to show you how top earners in your business are killing it, killing it on Facebook with Facebook Live. But at the same point in time, you got to remember, oh my God, there's LinkedIn. There is LinkedIn. Now, the fastest growing top earners in network marketing today who are truly living the laptop lifestyle will tell you they owe their success to social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. Only now, LinkedIn, with all of the changes they're making, is better than Facebook. These top leaders have teams of people enrolling their best new customers and reps. They're doing it in less than an hour a day. And the new recruits, they're doing the same thing within a few days of joining their business, but no one is really willing to tell you how they're doing it unless you're on their team. So, I'm going to show you how they're doing it and how you can do it too. So you can begin living a laptop lifestyle of a top earner. I want you to think mobile because 99% of what you want to do, 99%, almost 100%, can be done on a mobile phone. Facebook, LinkedIn, it doesn't matter. Both have phone apps. I want you to think texting because texting is the way you communicate and talk with people on social networks, Facebook and LinkedIn. And I want you to think big because you can build your business anywhere you want, anywhere in the world. Other people are doing it and you can do it too. So I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to instantly connect with perfect prospects, communicate with them at will when you want and close the sale in less than an hour a day. LinkedIn has become the social network of choice of successful network marketers in every company. In fact, LinkedIn now beats Facebook for prospecting and recruiting, but we're going to spend a little time, probably a little bit more time on Facebook Live because Facebook Live is hot. So for those of you that are new, let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you had an endless flow of highly pre-qualified free leads and you no longer had to spend money on advertising and marketing? Well, on Facebook and LinkedIn, you do. You know in advance who these people are simply by reading their profile. How would you feel if you knew that you could prospect and recruit at will with just your fingers and you didn't need any kind of technical knowledge because you could pick out in advance the people who wanted to talk to you, who would be open to talking to you? And how would you feel if you knew you could make a sale every day and your new recruits can duplicate the process immediately? Bring somebody into your business on Monday. By Wednesday, they're bringing in their friends. By Friday, those people that came into your business on Wednesday they're bringing in their friends. How would you feel if you had a system and a daily method of operation that produced immediate results for everyone that followed it? And that's exactly what we're sharing with you during these sessions. How would you feel if you could teach your team the same strategy for massive duplication and leverage so everyone grows business bigger and faster? Now, whether you've been in network marketing for a long time or you're just getting started, there is no faster and easier way to build a business than what I'm sharing with you today. What will that do for your confidence? If you knew, you could literally go to the top of your company. I'll tell you. Make you feel like Superman and Wonder Woman. What would that do for your income? What kind of toys, what kind of residence, what kind of boat would you own if you had Monthly residual income coming in. Now, if you're not getting the social media results you want right now, the reasons are obvious, easy to identify, simple to fix. It's going to be one of three things. Either the contents of your Facebook page, 
the people you're contacting or the way you talk to people. So we're going to show you today what's new on LinkedIn and Facebook that produces immediate results. And some of these things are going to be game changers, real game changers for your business because the bottom line at the end of the day, it's all about conversation. It's all about talking to people. So type your questions into the box. Eric will get to your question too. Now, I'm going to jump over to my video training center. And I want to demonstrate, before we jump into anybody else's live session, I'm going to jump into my Endless Free Leads program. We're going to go down to the Coach's Corner where we have recorded sessions of me working with people in private sessions. And specifically, we're gonna to go to this video where working with Jeremy, who was a personal trainer, I want you to understand the background to this story, was our first coaching session. And Jeremy's Facebook page had a picture of him in front of a birthday cake and uh, what we did was we edited the picture so we got rid of the cake got rid of most of the wood paneling we just had his face up here and within 10 minutes 19 of his friends responded they liked it so i said jeremy pick one pick one of your friends and i'm going to show you just how quickly just how easily just how effortlessly you can be bringing people into your business. We're going to start with the people you know, and then we're going to move over to people you don't know, but people you would like to know. And uh, let's see, Eric writes, I have a one-on-one -on -one call from LinkedIn on Wednesday that the CEO of LinkedIn is waiving the cost of these initial consultations to give me a strategy to get my business working for me and not the other way around. Well, Eric, tell me what kind of business you're in and uh, we can help you make a sale maybe before that call. So let's jump in here and, and uh, I want to share. So here's what we did. We picked one of those people but watch what happened. Women that like your new picture. Shauna Lee's a good one, boy. I'd like to prospect her. Okay. Well, let's take a look at Shauna Lee. Have you talked to her before? Yeah, it's been a long time. I just friended her like last week. Okay, so you've never really talked to her on here. Uh, I haven't talked to her on here. No, I haven't mentioned her on that. Hey, you know what she does? Last time I talked to her, she was a stay-at-home mom and worked for a calling center doing telemarketing. All right? That's how easy it is. Every time you make a change, every time you do anything, and she just saw it. And depending upon what she's doing, my guess is she'll start typing in a couple of seconds and she'll start telling your story. This becomes so predictable. Now what you want to know is you want to know what she's doing these days, what did she do before, how does she like what she's doing. Now every day that she looks at your page, she's seeing your post. What happens is people begin to see these things and one of the things that you want to post down here is I'm ready to help five more people make their fortunes on the internet. She's going to look at your page, she's going to see this, and then she's going to start wondering, well, what do you do? What, what is this all about? So what we want to do is we want to reach out and look for new people. Okay. So look. I, I'm great. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Wow, Max, look at that. <laughs> I work, I stay at home with my family. What about you? What are you up to? So you can tell her a little bit about what you do, but what do you want to know about her? 
look at the answer that you got. You could say to her, well, how big is your family? How many kids do you have? She says, I work. What kind of work? That's what you want to know. You don't want to know where in Myrtle Birch do you live. I just work in my butt off. What kind of work? Write back and we'll say, uh, I'm great to growing internationally. So, I'm cutting back on my personal training clients. Now, when I ask her a question, what kind of work do you do? We want to keep the conversation focused on what she does. And so the bottom line is, what kind of work does she do? But this is the kind of conversation that you could be having with people from your past, people from your present, or, or people that you just met yesterday. Now, look, she just looked at it. And now she's going to come back. And as she gives you the answers to these questions, you're going to know whether or not you want to continue talking to her as a prospect. Doesn't mean I am the guest services manager. Sounds like fun. Like fun. Now we want to ask her a question. How long have you been doing that? That's the question. Now we want to answer her question. What kind of internet business? I work with an expanding company in the health and wellness industry. It's almost like all the things I've hesitated to respond with because I didn't want to be specific, you're able to answer and still maintain being general. Exactly. Now, we could say, what experience have you had with network marketing? But that keeps the subject on you and what you're doing. We want to find out how long has she been doing that? About a year and a half. What kind of work have you done before? When you ask somebody what they do, they come back and ask you what you do. You want to know, okay, I have always done customer service type of work. And we could say, I remember you were always very good with people. I took care of old people in Oregon for a few years and was going to become a nurse, but decided to move back to the East Coast. Now, we could just sit here and she pour out her whole story to you. We lived in Portland, Oregon for four years. We loved it there. Now, we can just kind of sit back and, and wait, because she's going to still type. you got to love this, right? Yeah, all because you said the right things up front. Right, and that's what we want to train you to do. Have you ever been to Portland? No. Okay. So we can say here, I remember you're always very good with people. Now, She's telling you she loves what she does. So we could stop. We could ask her, have you ever thought about doing anything else? And uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get her to indicate she's got a financial need. Wow. Now, isn't this nice that you could show, now she just told you what her need was. She just told you what her need was. And all you had to do was have the patience to wait for her to give it to you. So now we can write back and say, I'm adding a vacation in Portland to my list. And we'll put a little smiling face on it. Okay, now let's ask you a question. This is where you're going to use one of your transition lines. Something different. And you can say, a lot of people, like me, 
have turned to the internet. We're going to ask her, what experience have you had with network marketing? Okay, here we go. Now, she says here, are you trying to recruit me, LOL? I love it. Okay? And recruit you? No. I'm just going to stop this for a second. And... For those of you that are student, regular students, you, you notice the pattern. We're asking questions. But I want you to pay attention to his reaction and his response, to his giggles, to his laughing. Because when you master this, you're going to be unstoppable. And you're going to have a lot of fun. And the most important thing is, some of you are going to find it amazing that you haven't done this before. You're not going to believe how easy it is. Now, Eric, you said uh, you got a call from LinkedIn. Believe me, the person that's calling you is not from LinkedIn, okay? And uh, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, and if it is from LinkedIn, hey, clearly they're going to consult with you and then they're going to try to sell you something. And uh, I'd be a little hesitant is it a scam? It could be. Could be. Uh, it could be. Oh, LinkedIn is waiving the cost of these initial conversations. We're going to spend some time with you, and at the end, of the, the end, they're going to try to sell you something. So just keep that in the back of your mind. But a lot of people like me have turned to the internet to make extra and full-time income. What experience have you had with network marketing? She brought it up. Now, in the meantime, you got all these people over here that are responding to your post. So, so you get to pick and choose who you want to talk to. If this conversation wasn't going the way you wanted, you could leave it, go up to the top of your page, look at your uh, notifications up here, and find other people to talk to. Just as a result of changing your picture. Right. Okay? Hmm, not much. I mean, I just started selling Avon for just a little extra cash. Would that be considered network marketing? Be still my home. Now, why are we excited right here? We're excited because we know the Avon business model refers to uh, home parties, coming over to people's houses, getting their friends together for home parties. It's more of a direct sale. You got to work very, very hard. You got to run around uh, getting orders. You have to run around collecting money. And then, of course, you're going to deliver products. And um, what... Jeremy is marketing and promoting. He'll make the sale one time. The per, uh, Shauna will sign up on an auto ship, so she'll get her products every month. And more important than that, um, Shauna will be marketing and selling something online where she doesn't have to get in her car, she doesn't have to run around, she can do this from home one or two hours a day, make more, way, way, way more money than she'd be making with Mary Kay. Gonna love the products. Gonna love the products. And, and so now, it's not so much a matter of Jeremy selling to Shauna, it's a matter of uh, Jeremy helping Shauna solve a problem. Her problem is she wants to make more money. Her, her solution that she's been able to come up with so far has been, hey, I'm gonna start selling Avon. Make some extra money. Now, let me just say that during November and December, and probably a little fall over into January, the Avon ladies, man, they're busy. This is their season. This is their time. Anybody in skincare, this is your time. This is when you're really going to make uh, the most money because your customers are going to buy more products and... and uh, People who are looking for business opportunity or people who are buying your products and want to get them for free. Now you can go back and show them 
how they can do it on the internet. So let's get back to this. Art. Would it be considered a network marketing? Yes, it would. But there are easier ways than the Avon model. No home parties. Um, with your background, you would do very well in type of business. But Avon is harder to do than than what I do, would you be open, this is permission marketing, to looking right. at what I'm doing? And you'd sure be fun to work with. Okay, we're doing a little LOL. Okay, pop that over, see what she says. This is textbook. Of uh, yeah, you know, of how this whole process works. I've just been so stagnant, Max. You know, I mean, and what what you're showing me right here, this is not anything specific with fifteen hundred different specifics to learn. This is the same simple model and process. It's just an art and a skill set that I have to learn, and then once I learn it, it's a matter of putting my own creativity in it. As long as I'm following the process, right? Exactly, which is learning about the other person. Now, I'll bet you any amount of money that she'd be open to taking a look at it. Now, she's been recruited before. She came right at you and said, hey, are you trying to recruit me? And I'm not trying to recruit you, but she just came back and said, hey, I'm trying to make some more money. You know, as her friend, that she's going to have to work really hard for her money and what you're doing is easier and it pays better. Why wouldn't you want to tell? Well, let's see. Oh. But I'm off on Sunday. You want me to call you on, you wanted to call you on Saturday? Sure. <laughs> Does she have your number? Saturday would be good. I look forward to talking to you. Let's wait until we talk. What's your number? 9952. Five, What's the best time? Um, after lunch. Two. Now, do you have her number? What's your number? So, I'll recognize it on my caller ID. So this is somebody that you knew in the past, hadn't spoken to in about, in two years. Right. When you perfect this, what do you think this is going to do for your business? Be like going to the park and throwing the football. Exactly right. Exactly right. Wonderful. Max, I've enjoyed it. It's, it's all that I hoped it would be. And it's as simple as I hoped it would be. And it's all coming together for me now. I feel it. So thank you so much, brother. You're all right, now that's just one of the examples of the, uh, what you'll find in the, co well, the coach's corner of uh, endless release. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, well, let me go a little deeper here. Um, I want you to think about this for just a minute. Every second, two new people join LinkedIn. Now, what does that do for you? means that every day, 172,000 new professionals. Every week, 1.2 million. You're never going to run out of people to talk to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute Lynn. And I'm going to unmute B because they were first. And good morning, ladies. Good morning. And let's uh, come over and we'll, bup, 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 where is it? We're going to go over here. So, uh, uh, B, yours is on LinkedIn. And it's, uh, B, there we go. And while, while we're doing that, we'll, uh, we'll look at, um, 
Actually, I'm going to talk and I'll mute you and I'll unmute you. And Lynn, I'm not sure if Lynn can even talk. So if she might not be in a position where she can't type. So I'm going to come over here on Facebook and uh, log in a Lynn's account. Max, can you hear me? This is Lynn. Yeah, Lynn, I can hear you. Oh, is that the, the email? Uh, Was that the email, Lynn? Yeah. Okay, you, um, you, you may have changed your password. So let me, okay, you put it I, there. Well, the new one is on that, in oh, the message box, too. I got it. I got it. Okay. So are you having fun with this yet? No. <laughs> I've been spending too much time on my, trying to get my, um, my uh, profile squared away. Okay. <laughs> but it's coming. It's coming. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So you're just in, you're, you're in the early stages, right? Yeah, and yeah, I am. So what we're going to do here is just, where'd she go? So Annie, I'm sorry, B, B are you having fun? Well, B's been at this a while. B, are you having fun? Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're so so what we're gonna do here is uh, um, wait a minute. Was that the is that the email address, B? That's Caldero. That's what I thought. You see, let me let me ask you a question. Um, Laura, have you ever uh, have you ever taken dance lessons? Laura, have you ever taken dance lessons? I'm sorry, Lynn. Have you ever taken dance lessons? Oh, uh, yes, I have. Okay. Yes. Well, this is exactly like taking dance lessons. Okay, you learn the steps, and uh, yeah. um, Lynn, I'm going to assume all of these are right, so I'm just going to go past this. So now, what you're doing is. You, you can learn the steps. You can learn the rhythm of the conversation. And it's all about conversation. It's all about talking to people. And so yes. what you're going to find is as you talk to people, uh, there's, going to, there's a way to literally meet someone, have a very, very nice casual conversation, quickly discover whether the person has a genuine need for what you're marketing and, and selling and then at the same time some of them are going to be very verbal about it let you know they've got a problem and lo and behold lo and behold by some magic it just turns out that how coincidental that they meet somebody that they make a friend on facebook who the next day or the next week or the next month has a solution to their problem and they reach out to you then and you're going to find more people are going to do that in December because everybody's thinking about well, what can I do to make next year better than this year. All right. right. So we're going, to, we're going to jump in here and we're going to look at a conversation that uh, B is having. And uh, B, what was the guy's name? How old is this? So, if I can give you a little bit of background on this. Okay. Uh, so, and I, you know, just yeah, I can't, uh, uh, B, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, can you, is this better? Oh, that's much better. Okay. Uh, so, we connected, and, um, you know, I just thought, okay, maybe he's not a prospect, but we kind of engaged in conversation anyway. He sent me his link, and I thought, okay, whatever. So uh, I told him what I'm up to, and he sent, and I sent him my link as he wanted to take a look at it, just to evaluate it, he said. And then suddenly the conversation just kind of turned into he wants to join and he wants to know what kind of support he would get and everything else. The company that he's with actually does a lot of what mine does, except that you know we approach support a little bit differently. So. 
if you see the last part of the conversation where he just keeps texting me, then you'll understand where, where I'm going okay. right now. Okay, all right. And uh, before we do that, let's just quickly jump over <coughs> to... Um, let me, let me jump over to uh, Lynn's page, and we'll just do a, a quick uh, r rundown, okay? Now, one of the things that you're going to love about Facebook, and I'm going to cover some fa new Facebook things while we're doing it. When you're on your Facebook homepage, stories up here, this is a whole new Facebook feature. These are little videos, little clips that are coming up. People, you can do this from your cell phone. You can do this from your cell phone. So you could post a story, a little video. And here, just let's, 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 let's Laura's story. Just click on it. This is done from a cell phone. Now she did it from Instagram. Mom, look at this. Mom. And if you she's wanted to make her scoot, look, she's going for the. <laughs> That's how we get a girl. <laughs> okay. Now, and, and what, what oh. can happen here? is you can write back. You can write back. So this is what people are doing. Okay, friends, show me your tree. Okay, now this is, people, some people are gonna relate to that. Her friends are gonna relate to that. And after all, who she connected to? She's connected to her friends. She's connected to people she knows. Or she's giving people, based on what they see here, an opportunity to reach out to her. So if you didn't even know her, you could reach out and say, hey, whoa, I, what a cute kid. Blah, 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 blah. The opportunity for you to talk to any of these people, it's outrageous, all right? Now, the first thing, of course, you have to do is you have to fill out your profile. You have to put yourself out there. You got to dress up, okay? So we're going to look, we're looking at your profile. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take your URL and I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go over here to Facebook and I'm going to put it in here because I want to see how you look. See, right now, this is what the public sees. Most people don't realize that, okay, so you got to follow me, but. And so as we scroll down and we read about you, we can see that your posts are public. We can read about you and we can see Chief Executive Officer, um, student at Hawaii College, lives in San Diego, married. And we come over here to details and everything's public. People can read all about you. Okay, now, um, so, Lynn, let me ask you a question. Uh, what, are you, what are you marketing? What are you selling? Um, I'm with Isagenix. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, here you are. Uh, let's go over here to work and education. And all you got here is your grand line. Right. What you need to do is you need to you, you consider this a resume. You say here in details about Lynn. Train to California yeah. and begin working at the hotel in San... Okay. Now, if I was going to get into business with someone, okay, if I was going to join mm -hmm. your business, why, you know, should I, I uh, have confidence that you know how to, that you know anything about the business? How long have you been in Isagenix? Uh, I've been a customer for ten years. Okay, great. So you got a great story. Yeah. So, so yeah. you, you've been a customer for 10 years of this company and now for one yes. reason or another, you're yeah. deciding, Hey, I'm going to start building a business. Yes. So, so the integrity of the company, your, your conviction about the products, you've probably got a, a couple of stories about, um, how the products have done for you. I'm sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so I would add, add a little bit to that. And the, the thing is, is, is that where you work now? At the ho this hotel? Sorry? You still work at this no, hotel? No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not working at all. Okay. So then you need to talk about that a little bit. You need to say, you know, look. Uh, so I began working at the hotel in 76 and uh, um, 
Okay, so so the, the, the next thing is right here. You want to tell your story. You want to say, look, listen, I worked in a hotel. You know, I, I, I met Bill or whatever your husband's name is. Uh, and we've been married, happily married for, for X amount of years. I like to go fishing. Yeah. I like scuba diving. You know, put some more information in here. And then, of course, the thing is that you want to tell people without, and you don't want to have anything about isogenics on here. This should all be right. about you. And then, of course, now you've discovered the secrets to making money on the internet. Because you can go out there, you can build your mal your isogenics business and find personal trainers and fitness instructors and chiropractors. You look at all the people that are making a million dollars in your company. Every one of them did something before they got into isogenics. Find out what they did and you can go out there and look for people that do what those people did that's just another you know quick easy strategy does that make sense yes i mean because somebody that's a school principal that left being a school principal to get into a company like jim McCune and maluka you know he left he went to he went to amway and now he's in maluka and so it's all about conversation so you're having a conversation with somebody that you know as a personal trainer you know their story you know what they're going through you know that most trainers do personal trainers do not have residual income unless you're connected to a network right. marketing company. Now, the only thing you have to be careful about is uh, God. I mean, I, I know most of the I don't know most. You've grown so much, but I've worked with a number of the um, people in Isogenics. I love the company. I love the Coovers, and. Uh, um, you know, George Ruiz is 50, you know, yes. million, million dollar earners <laughs> under him. And, yes. and a lot of the million dollar earners have been through my boot camps and you're learning what they know. Okay. Yes. So what you want to do here is you want to put yourself out as, as you know, we need to fill that in a little bit more. Yeah. But otherwise yes. this is a, this is terrific. Now, once this now, is. Now, that's a quick question, yeah. Max. Um, so I really have been at home for 10 years okay. um, and in writing my summary, I'm, I just want to keep, I know I have to keep it very concise, you know, with LinkedIn. So um, one idea I had was that um, we actually live in an RV right now okay. and that's been since 2011. So I wanted to change in my um, description of myself that I am an RV residential specialist. So, the, you know, I think that this lifestyle and um, unfortunately what I see around my neighbors are not in such good health. But I'm thinking if I could incorporate that somehow to get attention of people who are in RV communities or they travel a lot. Um, well, here's the, here, 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 here's the thing about that. Well, okay, let me tell you briefly first. Yes. yes. Um, perception. Yes. That's what we're talking about. You could, you know, some RVs, uh, you know, uh, some of these uh, uh, RVs are are elegant. And we live in a resort. Yes. Right. <laughs> and then and and then and right and then some of them are, um, you know, not so much. Right. And so the general right. per, the general perception for people that don't know RVs. Is you know you live yes. you, you're living in an RV. I mean, what you can't afford to live in a house. Mm -hmm. You know things are tough, so you know you're living in an RV. Well, I, I well, well I, yeah. What the the ben, I I do and working on this on this profile. Um, the benefit has been that we've been because of our lifestyle. We travel a lot. Our children were living out of state. We were able to be at the birth of our eight grandchildren by you I, know able I, to I, just I, walk I, up the door. I get anyway, that. Okay. I get Thank that. You. But what I'm trying okay. what I'm trying to say is okay. yeah. what I'm yes. trying to say is Yes. You live uh, where are you saying that you live? Um I'm in San Diego. Okay. So you're in San Look, yeah. you live in San Diego. Yeah. And you have and you don't necessarily have to get in to the fact that you live in an RV. You just live in San okay. Diego. Now, you right. li you live in San Diego and you travel around the country. And so, okay. you know, in three weeks, we're going to be in uh, San Francisco. In, uh, okay. you know, in another week, we're going to be in Seattle. And, okay. and so, and how do you get there? I travel for, you travel first class. 
Yes. Okay. Now yeah. you could certainly say, you know, listen, um, tie that to the business, and now your lifestyle takes on a whole new dimension. People want what you have without, okay. uh, and so now every time you go to, you're in a different place, you just put in a different place, you throw up pictures of, of you know, where you are or where you're going, and then you are mm -hmm. free to go out there and talk to all kinds of professionals okay. about your business. And uh, so okay. you really did a great job so far. And now the thing okay. is, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, 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 you know, the thing is, that don't, don't put a barrier or, or, or in front of you that, well, you know, I, um, I don't, ha I haven't done anything for 10 years. Yes, you have. You raised a family. <laughs> yes, you have. For the last 10 yes. years, you've raised a family. And, and, uh, uh, you know, you've raised a family. Period. That's all you have to say. Now, you've been taking, now you've been involved with a comp company as a customer for years. And now, yes. you know, now after 10 years of raising my family and watching the kids grow, you know, they're all in school now. I don't have to. No, no, they're all grown. They're oh. all in their 30s. Okay. All right. I'm oh, okay. Well, but, right. But it's, yeah. again, okay. again, it's perception. It? It's perception. And so now, okay. now the thing is, all right. now, now, you know, I, you want to do something again. You want some action. And, and now, okay. now you've discovered how you can be literally making serious residual income from wherever you are. You're living the laptop okay. lifestyle of million dollar earners. And now to get where you want to go, you just have to talk to enough people. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah. And, and the thing is that if you look at Rhonda Collier, uh, who's right. an ISA millionaire, you look at the uh, Civi Helsel, uh, yes. you look at, oh, kind of, I, I, uh, um, oh, what's her name? Corey, um, There, there, there is a, uh, there's a bunch, hundreds. There are. Uh, 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 you got Sherry Catlin. I just went up to 244. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, so the bottom, yeah. so the bottom line is, if they can do it, you can do it too. Now, that's right. All right. Yes. So, it's, like I said, it's just a matter of talking to enough people and then talking to the right people. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on LinkedIn and let's talk about. We're going to talk about, whoops, we're going to talk about Alan, Alwyn Haynes, e-commerce business to take me into retirement. And if I look over here, be on his profile, you can see he's in a, a network marketing company called Savion, all right? Right. Okay, so right away we know what he does, uh, or at least we know what he wants to talk about. And we come down here and we can see that he's been doing this for a year, and and before that, uh, he uh, well he's still he's still working at Bank of America. And um, what does he do at Bank of America? A loan specialist. You you okay over there, B? Because there's a lot of background noise. Oh yes, I'm fine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna mute myself until you ask me a question. Okay. All right. I'm using a different mic. That's I, I got you. Okay. So now let's take a look at the conversation because, folks, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all about conversation. So we can just click on this, and we could do it from here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, or we could go up to the message area and we can do it from there. And it's, it's always easier. It, it's a little bit more comfortable to do it from here. All right. Now you see that little green donut. That means he's connected to his mobile. All right. So we know that Alwyn is in a network marketing company. And so... At some point in time, B, you have to decide uh, whether you want to talk to someone or not, okay? Whether they are a candidate for your business or not. Now, if you discover that someone's not a candidate for your business, that's okay. That's okay. They're not a candidate for your business today. 
doesn't mean they're not going to be a candidate for your business in the future. So you reach out to the guy with our, okay, and he accepts, and then you use the icebreaker. I like LinkedIn, but I haven't done much with it. What do you do? I mean, B has this down. I didn't mention my main job is Bank America, but I also do online marketing. This is the dance. She's having a conversation with the guy. And uh, what do you market? Now, he didn't answer the question. I prefer warm weather. Tell me more. I'm in three different businesses that I love. But due to time concentrating, um, I'm concentrating on what? Best easy work. You know how much he's typing. Yeah, right. And, and not only that, but you know, you start talking to something like this and you have to, you almost have to feel sorry for the guy. Okay? You almost have to feel sorry because you know by his actions and his activity, you know by looking at his profile, he's going to die on here. All right? He's never, he, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's right, right now, he's promoting an awesome high ticket opportunity that allows people to start for free and get paid. Okay? Now, so the question is, we don't have to get into the details. We want to know what is it. And so he's giving the whole commercial. Okay, it's gonna be the whole commercial. And this is what people do on LinkedIn. So you come back with why in three different businesses. When somebody tells you they do more than one thing, you want to know why. Well, uh, I started one called uh, Online Sales Pro. About, so he's learning, okay? Including my coach and online sales pro promotes other businesses using that platform. So he's born into this whole, uh, this affiliate marketing model, which means, you know, you, um, you you sell a platform, you do this, you do that, and you have multiple products, multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. All right, so now uh, I'm told so much. What do you do? She's an affiliate marketer too. So B is basically doing the same thing that Alwyn is doing. You're both doing the same thing. Only you're selling a company, you're selling... And, and it's, it, they're basically high ticket items. So, okay, now. I must confess that by that point, I started losing interest because I know that he was, you know, I mean, obviously he's losing three companies and he does about the same thing. Right. I didn't really want to introduce him to another one, right. but the conversation kept going. Right, and, and the reason it keeps going is because the more you get to know someone, you, the more you're going to discover who they really are. And so initially, you know, and what's the name of the company you're with? And so you go through here and all right. So now he's going to use the power of Google. He's going to look you up. And this is the reason why. Uh, uh, so, so you go, I'll send you my link. And all right. So we have a little joke here. Then I'll block and delete you. Yes. Okay, so you're trying to, right. So, so again, we're having a little fun here. Now, you know, see, that's the thing. That's the reason why people are reluctant to give the name of their company to someone. Because, oh my God, they're going to go there and Google it. And then they're going to find out all about it. They're going to read all those good things or all those bad things. We're okay. So now uh, I'm just saying to myself, I'm here thinking we're both enjoying the conversation. You're now going to end it for good, so I'm happy you were joking. Now, and then when we've gotten that straightened out, this long, his long, how have you mm -hmm. been doing this? 15 years. So, um, how has he been marketing on the internet 15 years? Interesting. All right. He was basically uh, um, wondering if I've been since, you know, in my company 15 years, and I told him, you know, that I've been online since 2014, so I clarified for him. 
But you see, here, here's what's happened. Um, now, you're talking about one company. And, and uh, re really, what you're doing here is... Um, he told you he's been in this business for 15 years. Let's come back up here. Yeah, it's me. He was referring to me, not himself. Okay. So how long has he been doing it? See, what does he do? He online markets. So the question is, what does he market? He told you. So now, um, what did he do before? Those are basically your three questions. So let's come down here and see. You've been doing this since last year. Uh, he's going to look at your link. Well, um, you know, here you could, you could kind of just say, you know, no pressure, which isn't bad because there is no pressure. I look at your link, you know, I just gave it to you because you were curious. I, I, you know, my, my expectations that you're going to buy, buy this are zero because you're already doing Because exactly yeah. you're already doing something. So maybe you can take a pro look at my, one of my programs and give me your opinion. And what I would do here, I mean, I would take a look at it for your own education, take a look at to see what they offer, take a look at to see is they got something that is better. It's always a good idea to know who your competition is. But if you know about them, I mean, you're not recruitable. You, unlike him, you're having success on here because you're not blasting the information about your page out there to people. But you see, the thing is, okay, and you talk, this is all great. This is absolutely all great. Because the thing is, you want to move on. So a sponsor is right at the top of this company. And look, he keeps typing. Yeah, then he goes into our membership and-, and Right, right, um, right, right, and right. And but see, so I did a, I sent him a, you know, I mean, it's all on the, you know, on the video, but I just right, started, right. But see, but you should, but see, you shouldn't be doing this because you got a one word answer. Okay, thanks for explaining. Okay, I, okay, but, 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 I don't know, no, no, right? But now he comes back. I like the sound of your program. Probably it's even better packaged and has a better marketing system than the his company. That appears to me that his company costs less and pays more. Okay, all right. So now, see what what um, see what I would have done here. I definitely like the sound of it. It's better packaged, but it appears to me, it appears to me. All right, and it's going on with all this. This nonsense. That's what it is. It's not. Yeah, that so, end is no, no, right, right. So what? What I would have done here is, you know, and they, then he says, "Are you on Facebook?" You say, "Yes, I am." But what you should have said was, "Yes, I am." And um, well, actually, he's well. He did this all at the same time. So I wouldn't have answered his Facebook question. What I would have done is that he said, it appears to me that I'm a, that his company costs less. I would have said, you need to look a little, appearances can be deceiving. You need to look a little deeper because that's really not the case. But the thing is, it's not about you showing his company and, 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 and even defending your companies, but you, you want to get that in. You want to let them know, hey, look, uh, it appears to me, well, you know, um, you need to look a little deeper. And if somebody comes back with an argument, well, you know, man, I've, I've talked to a lot of people about this and everybody's negative about it. Then your response should be, well, you just need to, you're just talking to the wrong people. You need to talk to some more people. So coming over here now, okay. That's a good point. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so here, uh, I've got to see. Would like to see what the support community is like. All right, so right now this guy's giving you all kinds of indications that he wants to, that he's, you know, he's basically saying to you, um, you know, I might be interested in what you're doing because what's, what I'm doing isn't working. And uh, so he's concerned about support. I so said there's one thing that he's excited about. Okay, so 
I guess I'll sign up when I'm getting answers. When was this? So this was over the weekend. I was actually traveling, and um, I hadn't had the the ability to answer him. And then yesterday, this laptop right. came through, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just pop on one of your calls to see what you're thinking. Because I don't, you know, what do you even think? though this is a very exciting conversation to have, I'm not, like, super excited because I get the feeling that if he were to sign up, he probably would be one of those people. Well, but I'm willing to, you know, be open minded. Well, the, the the reason that you're not excited is because you don't know more about him. Um, but clearly, he's giving you every indication, based on what we see here, that he's in a similar business to you. And by the way, after you sign him up in the business, you might want to do a search for other people that are in his company, because there's probably other people that are in the same boat he's in. So what, right. you, so what you want to do here is, this was on Saturday, so we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how quickly you can get him to respond. And I'm killing myself in time um, because we didn't get into the meat and potatoes of what we wanted to talk about, but I, c I can't resist this. This was a good one, huh? <laughs> Okay. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to have a little fun with this guy. We can say, now we're, do you ever apologize for traveling and not being able to answer? Or do you just no, 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 for sure. You, you say, uh, what, where, now where were you? Where were you? I'm, tra I'm traveling with my husband, uh, visiting family in Northern California. So we're going to say I'm visiting family. Northern California. Now, are you staying in a hotel or are you staying with family? Family. Okay. Now, um, okay. So I said, I'm, I got, I'm, so, uh, uh, okay. Uh, the, so we're going to say, we're going to, we're going to have some fun with them. The sign up process. is easy. Okay. What, what answers? So, so did he ask any questions up here? Would like to see what the support community is like. I want to see what kind of support my team and I can expect. If we depart, if we, so he's talking about, oh, we got a team here. So he's not coming by himself. Right. Okay. You'll find our sign up process is easy. And I'm going to show you and Okay, your final sign up process is easy. Period. Now I'm gonna show you when you, when you and your team. Let's th let's be positive. Oh, are all enrolled. I'm going to show everyone how to how to build the business in less than an hour or two a day. Mm. 
on LinkedIn and Facebook. Okay, now what's the question? What's the question? I'm gonna ask everybody in the audience. What's the question? I'll give a free seat to boot camp in boot camp to someone who gives me the right question. Now, clearly what answers do you need is you know the obvious question. Um, but there's another question. Now, all we want to do is we want to space this out. So we're going to uh, oh. Now, there was one other question we needed to ask, and that is, how big is your team? Ah, okay. Okay, how big is your team? Now, if he comes back and he tells you, you got, he's got 20 or 30 people, now here's the deal. We want to know how big his team is. Now he's gonna ask you some questions about support and everything else. And you're going to tell him about that, but then you also want to be asking questions about him. Okay, what other network marketing companies has he been in? Every time you give him a little bit of information on your company, you also need to be learning more about him. Okay, so how long has he been doing this? How big is, of a team does he have? What other companies did he work with? When he was in those other companies, how big were their teams? You know, and assure him that all when, uh, see, one of the things in your particular instance, and we talked about this in, in one of our coaching sessions, how there, there are people in your field that sell similar products or maybe a little less costing products that, that are, they're struggling. They're not having the success that you're having because you know how to do it. And they're, they're all being taught nonsense, all right? Now, what I, what I, I wanted to share, does it, did, so you're getting a little bit more excited about this guy maybe? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of, that, that kind of so I'm, I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you saved that. Now, what I wanna do is, um, I, want, I need to get back to this because I wanted to show everybody something and I'm, I, I don't have any t any more time. So I, I specifically, I'm gonna kind of short this down. I mean, we've got all kinds of success story. Bonnie, Bonnie's having great success, Andrea. Uh, we're, in, we're into December now, and December is an outrageous month. And, and what I want to do is I wanna take a minute to talk about Gennady, because you know we've been talking about him for a couple of months now, but I wanna fill you all in, okay? And Brand, you know, Sees a network market 20 years in the business. He comes to the United States to find out how social media really works. And after spending four days with me, we became friends. He flew down to Miami Beach. And uh, we started working together. And what ends up happening is we ended up doing, he ends up doing, we, we did a Polish and a Russian boot camp. Polish and Russian boot camp. Well, when... He's done. Two weeks, first two weeks, he has a boot camp. He's got 57 people in his business. His team is duplicating like crazy. 20, two of his leaders brought 20 people into the business. And then what happened was this year on his birthday, I turn around and I send him happy birthday notice. And he says, hey, we joined Malibu five months ago. Still business, looking business online. 30 directors. 30 directors. And uh, we heard from him in October that he and his wife Agnes have 95 directors. They are going wild. And in fact, what ended up happening was the company was actually suspicious. Oh, how, you know, how's this guy doing it? They had a little bit of a, a war. And you know, when the company holds your money, <laughs> they're, they're winning. So he ended up appreciating, when, once they saw what he was doing, they appreciated what he did, what he did. Now he's got 120 directors and a senior director. This is where 
you're all heading. Now, uh, we have a boot camp that starts tomorrow. Um, I know there's a couple of people here that inquired about my coaching program. I did mean what I said in that email that went out today. I'm taking one more coaching client this year and uh, I'm not adding any more to my schedule until January. And um, in January, my coaching fee reluctantly has to rise. So uh, if you're even thinking about doing it, um, now is the time. Folks, I wish all of you uh, a wonderful day. Our four o'clock, find me on Facebook. Uh, I'm doing a Facebook Live session uh, for my friends in Jeunesse and, and other uh, health and wellness companies. Uh, bring your friends and share this with your the people that you're connected with because we're gonna give everybody four things that they can do in December that will produce immediate sales. So until next time, best of luck in building your business and God bless. December is gonna be the best month you've ever had.